Broadcasting live from the True Crime Today studios to the world. To the world. This is Murder in the Morning with Tony Bruschi and Stacy Cole. From the Hit Killers Podcast, Murder in the Morning. The Peace Officer Standards and Training Commission has revoked the police certification of William Farwell. Who is William Farwell? A former Stoughton police officer, following his involvement in the Sandra Birchmore case, William is a twin brother of Matthew Farwell, who has been charged with Birchmore's murder. William agreed to voluntarily give up his certification as a law enforcement officer in Massachusetts, according to post-commission documents. The decision comes as he was accused of misleading state police investigators regarding the nature of his relationship with Birchmore, who died at the age of 23. The Post also added William's name to the National uh, Decertification Index, a national registry of officers who have had their credentials revoked. I didn't know that existed, but thank God. Unfortunately, I don't think a lot of departments follow it because there's... Right. You know, Sandra Birchmore uh, first met the uh, Falwell brothers through the Stoughton Police Department's Explorers Program in 2011. She was a child where both William and Matthew served as guest instructors. Investigators revealed that Matthew Farwell groomed Birchmore from a young age, leading to a years-long sexual relationship. Authorities alleged that Matthew killed Birchmore when she became pregnant with his child in 2021 and staged her death to appear as a suicide. And by the way, got away with it for a long time. Matthew mm-hmm. Farwell has been federally indicted for killing Sandra Birchmore, and prosecutors may pursue the death penalty, reported Boston 25 News. Uh, William's inappropriate conduct extended beyond his brother's relationship with Birchmore. Investigators uncovered evidence that William had exchanged sexually explicit messages, including photos and video with Birchmore when she was about 22. Additionally, he conducted 26 unauthorized searches for Birchmore in a police database and 24 searches for himself, all without official law enforcement justification. These officers over in this part of the country really think they can do whatever the fuck they want. That's what it feels like. It's like, whatever we're going to do, we can, nobody's going to catch us. Like, you got a problem? Let's go talk to the ones over in uh, uh, where uh, Canton, where the Karen Reed case took place. A 2022 internal review by the Stoughton Police revealed that William Matthew and another officer, Robert C. Devine, had inappropriate relations with Birchmore. Three. And, and remember, I believe she was like, what, 10 or something when she started the Explorer program? And then, I, I wanted to say 13, but maybe not. May, I don't know. Then the the sexual shit started when she was underage, too. And it just kind of kept going. And that's all according to the allegations. As um, a part of the agreement with the Post, William has been barred from ever working in law enforcement in Massachusetts again. The commission stated revocation of certification ensures accountability for officers who engage in misconduct, protecting the integrity of law enforcement. Uh, how about we also put him on the fucking sexual predator list as well? Mm, I think that would be key. Because there's a lot of other jobs he can go get that can be around children. Mm-hmm. Um, and why, why is he not charged yet? That's an even better question. What are, are they trying to drum up more evidence? I don't know. I mean, the brother's been charged and this guy's still just kind of sitting there and he's willingly taking being an officer off of the list of possibilities for life. That shows a little bit of guilt. Or is this is this some sort of fucked up like agreement that they have? Like, if you do this, we won't charge you. Oh, I hope not. I mean, this is such an egregious uh, violation of everything that they stand for. It's insane. So, yeah, there's there's no way that he's going to get off. Is there? Uh, who the fuck knows? Uh, they, I, I just, it, it's so frustrating with this because how clean is the system? How clean are the people who are currently working within the system? Are they still part of the old guard there where everybody kind of backed each other up and, uh, Held had no accountability for bad officers. In fact, almost encouraged bad officers' behavior. You know, or is it better? Is it is it a whole new guard that's in there that will you know go after this and investigate this stuff? And when you're asking people to investigate things and they don't want to investigate it because it you know they're covering for somebody or maybe it'll implicate them, you're not going to get a very thorough investigation. 
And those are the people you're relying on to investigate it. There's not like other investigators, but th with this, you have the federal authorities involved. So they're having to dig in as well. Um, the thing is, though, quite often they work hand in hand with local, but if the, your local end is fucked and they're all corrupt, it's, it makes it that much more difficult, I think, to handle a case. It, it makes it really difficult if they, you know, I'm sure everybody who's investigating this knows somebody in this system because they're so intertwined. But who else do you get to investigate? Exactly. I, I don't know. The whole thing is so fucked up and it just makes you scratch your head and go, did people know this was going on? That's what I want to know. Oh, you know, why, why is a cop hanging out with these young kids? I understand this program was supposed to be for that, but I feel like somebody had to know something at some point. Well, you would think at some point, but I guess you get kind of questions like who's, who's watching out for everybody. You think, you know, there's parents watching out for their children that we find that doesn't happen very often. And I know nothing about Sandra Birchmore's parents, so I can't speak to it, but I don't know. I mean, if you would think that there'd be some weird pattern here of like, you're hanging out with that adult cop quite a bit. Um, yeah. What the fuck's going on? But if you nobody's, know, nobody's asking those questions and it's just normalized, it's, it's okay. You know? Exactly. And I've, I've seen younger people, you know, hanging out with older people. And, you know, it's one thing if it's a, you know, a, a little old lady and she cooks, you know, makes cookies with you after school. And, you know, it's a wholesome whatever, but something about this, a, a male with a very young female, I hate to be so cynical, but it just doesn't feel right. It just no. feels so icky. Uh, yeah. Uh, unless you're their dad, uh, there is no reason for that kind of, uh, relationship of, of hanging out and doing things together. Uh, you know, or may, I don't, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's just, um, it's fucked up. You know, maybe an uncle and, or a cousin or, I mean, I sure. guess well, I can yeah, get behind yeah. that. But some but things, it, yes. Where it's, but even that can be dangerous sometimes too. But if we're talking like pure, nothing's bad going on here, but when it's just kind of this stranger man, that's not part of your family that you've never really known. And he really has this really weird interest in you and you're young and he's an adult. That's not normal. Like, there's no fucking way, like, a, a healthy individual be like, oh, I'm going to go. Like, it'd be like if I was like, hey, I want to go hang out with your friends, Harper. Just, just that one by themselves. Mm -hmm. That's so fucked up. Yeah. It's like, no, like, every, every inch of my being would be fucking on edge if my daughter came to me one day and said, hey, you know, this uh, person in this uh, group uh, wants to just take me out to, to dinner. And like, no. <laughs> no that's because they're inappropriate they're a fucking predator that's what that's that's what's going well now and then you're going to get the kids arguing because they know everything but um it's yeah but that's how they this is why they prey on young people because young people want to think they know everything and they think they're in they they have all this knowledge and that they they they're in control and really not at all they're completely being taken advantage of by pretty much anybody who wants to manipulate and take advantage of them. Well, and you know, we're also, I don't know her history and I should probably look this up so I can speak a little better to it, but I'm guessing her home life was not great. So here's somebody who is paying attention oh, to her. Her parents died. Yeah. They were both so, dead. <laughs> so she's got nobody to, mentor her or or give her you know adult supervision and guidance and things like that so here's somebody uh, in a position of authority who is showing attention to her and and focusing on her yeah. and what a lovely thing until it's not that's what makes it even more sick is that they knew like her parents are dead and she's you know yeah. she's kind of seeking that sort of figure in her life and they swooped in like that. Yeah, they saw her person really needs somebody mm. to love and care for her. And she's just been given this horrible lot in life. And I have a chance to make a difference. Yeah. They no, seek, it's a way for me to fuck somebody over. They seek the wounded and yeah. try to come in and.
fucked up. What else has he done? I'm I'm waiting for the charges. I hope I don't know why. I'd love to understand why there's no charges there yet, but um, yeah, he's got to go. All right, true crime addicts, let's cut the crap. You're knee deep in the gory details of your favorite podcast when suddenly a commercial hits like a bad meal. Seriously? You deserve better. Upgrade to True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts, where you can binge without those annoying ads. Plus, get extended interviews that go deeper into the darkness and early access to episodes so you can be the first to know. It's like trading up from fast food to fine dining, but with more blood. So, go ahead. Search for True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts. Subscribe and feast on the good stuff.